Hi friends, welcome back to Marquee Soaps. So today we are starting our video out the same way as always. We are mixing in our oils, butters, our additives, which are kaolin clay, coconut milk powder, and sodium lactate. And then we'll get our lye going and start making some soap. So this soap will be split off into four different colors. Our first color is a gray 50 shades by Crafter's Choice, which was purchased at Wholesale Supplies Plus. Next we have Let Us Entertain You by Mad Micahs. Snake Island by Mad Micahs. And last but not least, I have some titanium dioxide here that has been dispersed in some warm water and I buy mine from Wholesale Supplies Plus. And let's get these all a quick buzz with our stick blender and add in our fragrance oil. So this gray is really dark. I'm going to add in some of the titanium dioxide just to bring it down a little bit. The fragrance oil I'm using today is Huckleberry Harvest by Nature's Garden. And we'll just do one at a time and see how it goes. It says it behaves perfectly, so let's see. good. All right, I'm going to add in the fragrance to the rest of the containers, get everything mixed in. And while I'm doing that, let's talk about the soap for a minute. So this is another Harry Potter soap. This one is the Slytherin house soap. So Slytherin, the element, um, each house has a different element and Slytherin's is earth and Slytherins are known to be sly and cunning. So these four colors I thought represented the earth very well in their own way. And it also is their house colors. I do have a stamp that I will stamp them um, after I cut them in a couple days. Go ahead and get this fragrance all mixed in. Let these set up so they're not so runny for a few minutes and I'll bring you back when it's time to pour them into our slap mold. This one is now ready to pour. So I'm gonna do this one a little bit different than I did um, the Gryffindor one, which someone on my TikTok said it looked like it was ketchup and mustard. So now all I see when I look at that one is ketchup and mustard. So I think I'm just gonna do all of one color. It's going to be kind of like a, a drop swirl in a way, a little bit. Um, and I'm going to, I'm not gonna scrape it. I'm just gonna save that for the top. So we have a dark and now we'll do light. That's kind of pretty together. Then 
we'll do another dark. So I think I said it in my last video, so you'll probably already know by the time this is uploaded, but I did purchase new, I'm in the process of purchasing new um, filming light, film, yeah, new lights for my setup because my overhead light, you can see it right in the soap and I don't like that at all. So that is coming. Um, I've also, kind of changed my um, like organized I'm in the process of organizing all my stuff a little bit better too that way I can hopefully do just a little tour in the next couple weeks once I get everything in but gosh filming lights are a lot harder to find than what I thought they would be a lot of things, I mean, I'm sure if I looked somewhere other than Amazon, I could find them just fine. Um, I'm just kind of an Amazon shopper. That's my preferred method. I did go to Home Depot and they had some really nice overhead lights, but I need something that plugs into an outlet. Not like you would replace an actual light with. So I'm having a hard time with an overhead light, but I did find a couple uh, new side lights. So it'll, the videos will start being brighter, hopefully by the time I cut this. And I did also get a microphone because the sound on my, I use my iPhone to film, and the sound on that has never been the same since I dropped my phone in my uh, raw soap batter a while ago. So. <laughs> So it's never just, it's never sounded right since. I wonder why. And I don't feel like getting a new phone just for the sound quality. So I'm sure I will forget that I'm wearing a wired microphone one day and walk away and the phone will probably go right back in the soap batter. But that is not what we're worried about today. Back in just a moment to do some textury fun stuff on the top. Welcome back. So it has been a few days and we are now ready to cut into our Slytherin soap. And there's the first bar. So we do have a stamp for this soap, just like we did the Gryffindorf soap. But instead of stamping it right away, I'm actually going to let it set for about a week and then I'm going to try to stamp it. I am new to stamping, so I'm just testing out to see when is the best time and I don't think the same day you cut it is the best time to stamp it. So I will definitely bring you back when I am stamping these and then I will also let you know how long it took to get a good, a good stamp. So I'll finish getting this cut up and I'll be back again in just a moment to get these stamped. <laughs> 